Please note, this is not meant to be a detailed instructional video. The purpose of this video is for demonstration and reference only. If you would like full detailed instruction on all of these movements, plus a lot more, then go to grapplingleglocks.com. To get better control when doing ankle locks, put your head down towards the mat. You can ankle lock your opponent when they cross their ankles when they have your back. When your opponent goes for an omoplata, you can put their ankle behind your head and get an ankle lock there. If your opponent goes for a compression calf lock and leaves their ankle open, you can attack their ankle. The belly down ankle lock is a very devastating leg lock. You can get the belly down ankle lock inside your opponent's reverse daily heva. Also, when your opponent goes to get the waiter sweep position and if they leave their ankle open, you can go for a belly down ankle lock. When you sweep your opponent backwards from the ankle lock X guard position, you can transition right into a nice belly down ankle lock situation. Another tricky ankle lock from the ankle lock X guard is draping your leg over your opponent's leg and getting an ankle lock while laying on top of their leg. And if you play single leg X guard, then ankle locks are readily available. And also from single leg X guard, don't forget how effective the belly down ankle lock is. A knee bar is a good combination attack off of the lifting butterfly sweep attempt. A very basic leg lock is attacking for a knee bar when your opponent stands up inside your close guard. Flying scissor knee bars are a fast and tricky leg lock that will catch your opponent off guard. The pendulum knee bar from half guard is a good way to attack your opponent's leg. If your opponent doesn't have a very strong knee on belly, you could possibly spin underneath them and attack a knee bar on their posted out leg. Another way to attack for a knee bar is when you go for an omoplata and your opponent goes to put their knee on your stomach, if they leave space you can attack their leg. And also when you go for an omoplata, if they stand up, they're leaving an opening for you to attack their leg that way easily as well. You can also possibly catch a knee bar when they go to roll out from your omoplata attack. You can also attack for a knee bar when you go to do the stable pass from top. When they go to stop your knee, spin around and go for a knee bar. And if your timing and speed is fast enough, you could possibly attack for a knee bar standing inside your opponent's guard. I like to slide my shin across my opponent's hip and attack for a knee bar from the Z half guard. The step back knee bar is a good attack against your opponent's daily heva guard. Another tricky knee bar is hitting the knee bar from the spider guard spinning lasso sweep. You could also attack your opponent's leg for a knee bar when you work to do the spiral sweep from the reverse daily heva guard. And if your opponent does a leg frame when they're on the bottom side control, you can attack for a knee bar that way. You can also attack for knee bars from top half guard as well. From spider guard, you can make your opponent post their leg out and spin under for a knee bar attack. A knee bar that catches many people off guard is a sprawling knee bar from top half guard. The stack pass compression knee bar is a tricky knee bar that can work on many people. When your opponent spins around you from the turtle position, roll through and catch a rolling knee bar. You can also do a rolling knee bar when they get behind you from standing. And you can do a rolling knee bar when they get a single leg attack on you as well. I like to attack for knee bars from the X guard position. And from the 50-50 position, if you're able to sink your knee down, you can attack for a knee bar against your opponent from this position. This is a very strong knee bar as well. The toe hole from the old school half guard sweep is a very tricky and actually effective submission. You can also do a rolling toe hold while inside your opponent's butterfly guard. And another effective toe hold attack is doing it right from an omoplata attack on your opponent. If your opponent doesn't watch your feet when they go for the waiter half guard position, you may be able to get a toehold on them. You can also get a toehold inside your opponent's Z half guard. The Esteema leg lock inside your opponent's lasso half guard is very effective. You can also make this a stronger attack by dropping down to your side while you go for the submission. And if your opponent has you in reverse de la Hiva and their toes are curled inside your hip, you can go for the Esteema lock. When your opponent goes for the spiral sweep from reverse de la Hiva, you may be able to catch their foot and catch a toehold. You can also attack for toe holds from knee bar attempts. The lifting butterfly sweep is a very good way to attack for heel hooks when you have the butterfly guard. If your opponent stands up inside your close guard, you may be able to spin all the way around and get them in a 50-50 heel hook. The diving 50-50 spinning heel hook is tricky but also effective. If you could pop your opponent's foot off of your hip from the daily heva guard, you may be able to drop back for a heel hook attack. You can also counter your opponent's ankle lock attack by swimming your foot underneath their ankle, shooting your leg through, and attacking for a heel hook. If your opponent doesn't have a strong knee on belly, you may be able to spin underneath them and attack for a 50-50 heel hook. You can also attack for a heel hook when you're inside your opponent's Z half guard position. And you can attack for a heel hook when your opponent has a leg frame from bottom side control. If you get caught with a double ankle sweep when you stand inside your opponent's closed guard, you could possibly attack for a heel hook when you fall. 
You can also attack for a heel hook for the leg that's inside your hip when you're inside the X guard. You may be able to set up a 50-50 heel hook when your opponent goes for an X pass and goes for knee on belly position. Another old school heel hook attack is bumping them off of the mount position and then attacking for a heel hook. If your opponent tries to step around from your spiral sweep attempt, you can transition to a 50-50 heel hook. Also, if your opponent goes to pass the 50-50 position, you could possibly transition to a regular reaping heel hook from there as well. It's not uncommon to shoot for a heel hook right from the sitting guard. Expect to roll through when you do this heel hook, so make sure you block the leg as you roll. And when you escape the triangle choke by doing the step over triangle choke escape, you can also fall back to a heel hook. And you can set up 50-50 heel hooks from the bottom half guard, along with setting up 50-50 heel hooks from the top half guard as well. Some people even step into 50-50 heel hooks right from passing the guard positions. The scissor heel hook is a fast but also very dangerous heel hook. Many people also jump right into heel hooks from the standing position. The single leg X guard position is a very easy position to set up many heel hook attacks. And you probably didn't know this, but you could also set up the 50-50 position when you have your opponent's back. You can set up a rolling calf lock when your opponent goes to do the elbow knee escape under the mount. You can also do a rolling calf lock when you're inside your opponent's daily heva guard. Along with doing a rolling calf lock when you have your opponent in the turtle position and you spin to the side. From reverse scarf hold, you can also get the rolling calf lock from there as well. And a lot of people aren't aware of this, but when your opponent gets you in the deep half guard position, you can actually set up a falling calf lock from this situation also. One of my favorite calf lock setups is from the X guard position. If someone stands up inside your 50-50 guard, you can spin underneath them and then attack for a calf lock. You also have the ability to switch to a calf lock from the Barambolo situation. And you can switch to a calf lock when you're working to defend the Barambolo sweep as well. And you can attack for a calf lock when you have the daily Heva guard. Don't forget the rolling calf lock when you're inside your opponent's half guard also. A basic old school calf lock is shucking your opponent by, sitting up, and then getting the fallback calf lock. The vaporizer calf lock is a hybrid leg lock that is very devastating and hard to defend. And you could also hit this off of the electric chair sweep, which is a very effective sweep and sets up the vaporizer leg lock very easily. Not only can you do a rolling toe hold when you're inside your opponent's daily heva guard, but you can also transition to a calf lock as well. When you go to do the step back knee bar, but your opponent defends, you can do a shin leg lock, you can also do a toe hold, and then if they switch your legs, you can fall back for a knee bar. And if your opponent attempts to defend the knee bar by triangling the legs, you can go for an ankle lock, you can also go for a knee bar on their other leg, and you can attack for a heel hook. And when your opponent locks your legs from 50-50, you can go for the Texas Cloverleaf and you can go for a toe hold. You can also attack for a calf lock from the butterfly sweep, and from the same situation, you can attack their other foot and go for a toe hold. Push your leg off your hip, scoot over so you can defend the ankle lock. If your opponent drops back for an ankle lock, you can use the momentum to stand up so then that way you can work to defend it. Spin out the direction your opponent's going for a heel hook. Even if they drop you down, you still want to spin out that same direction. You also may have to kick them with your foot as you're working to escape. By kicking them, it'll help you free your leg. You always want to turn with the heel hook pressure, never against it. A common way to escape the knee bar is by triangling your legs, walking your body up, and then putting a lot of pressure down on your opponent. Lots of times you can also pass from here. Another way of defending the knee bar is making sure you pull your knee out as soon as possible and then kicking them away. Some ways of defending the toe hold is kicking your grip off with your foot and then bending your legs and then coming up. And also make sure you spin the direction that they're applying the lock so then that way they don't increase their pressure. Thank you for watching. You can get access to over 120 detailed leg lock videos, drills, concepts, escapes, and more at the Grappler's Guide. Visit grapplingleglocks.com.